we're here in Abu Dhabi. So I heard about this, what, four or five days ago? So uh, pretty exciting sort of stuff, you know. Haven't done anything like this before. I've always thought uh, something like this uh, would happen sooner or later. Uh, probably didn't expect to do something like this while you champ, but um, hey, I didn't want to wait till, what, they said January or something like that, but that was too long to wait. So this is a good opportunity. It's going to be fun. Can't wait to go out there and uh, blow some people's minds, you know. So it's going, to be, it's going to be big, you know. Obviously so much happened this week. It's great to be a part of it. Exciting times. Body feels good. So, uh, yeah, here we are. I guess you could say enemy territory, right? This is pretty much his, uh, well, that's what he actually calls it. Like, you know, this is uh, what he calls home advantage and all good. Got a nice spot, nice spot as um, well, so it's gonna be pretty cool. Everyone yeah. was just on board like that. So it was uh, pretty incredible, really. Just shows you what type of uh, team we have around us. Look at that. Let's go! For warm up, they play basketball a little bit. It's gonna be like 15, 20 minutes. And then, resting, resting, uh, nice, nice. Then resting a little bit drills. Then it's gonna be kickboxing drills and after grappling, fight live. That's a Dagestan basketball. Yeah, this is not real basketball. This Dagestan is, this, basketball. This is a little bit not like... Same. Rugby. It's a mix with American football and basketball. Dagestan rugby. Good, 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 good. It's going fantastic, no injuries, morale's high, the spirits are high, uh, Islam's on point, the whole team's on point. You know, I'm expecting a dominant performance uh, from Team Eagle. Nobody say he lose or something like that, but everybody say he is uh, from other division, other weight class, he's a small guy, that's it. But right now, it's more pressure on me because I defend my belt. This guy just jump before 12 days without any risks. This fight, I wanna finish him. I will looking for the finish all this fight. Hey, everyone just had breakfast. Jordy, fight dietitian, doing my meal, so we're gonna head back. So you have a. Uh, have Jordy in the kitchen for no, no, no. one day, he blocks the sink. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Settle down, Frankie. Yeah. Right, right, right. No, I got it. That was uh... You're supposed to hold it and then pump, 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 yeah? I nah. went to trading school. I was a trader. Yeah, I was just giving back and doing what I'm supposed to do. Not just a wrestling coach or logistics guy. I'm a handyman. Comes in the Bible, so... Hype man, hype man as I well. I'm a good hype man, which also... <laughs> All right. Like carbs. That's only like 30 grams of carbs. So. Yeah, see? Cheers, man. Like this one, yeah, yeah, we'll get through it, we'll get through it. Our island, the yes, island, we fought here yeah, how many times? Three, four. Everything is good. This week, just going over logistics with uh, Islam, making sure he has all the weight cut modalities accessible to him that he needs uh, for Thursday and Friday. This is uh, fourth time? Four or five. Yeah, yeah, so it's been a couple fight weeks for sure. Everything is. This is my. Second home, when, how many times I fight here. I know that people all gonna support me and just see you, see you soon.
today's a, a grueling workout. It's a it's a heavy, heavy workout. You know, we didn't we didn't have a full training camp for this. This is just as hard for our opponent. Getting to see a workout like today, I'm I'm happy. Man, he's in shape. He's only here because he put himself in the situation. And I think that's what makes me the most proud of him. And we're gonna see a refreshed and fired up Kamara, ready to fight the wolf. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna have to give him my belt because we all know the choice he's making right now is something that very few people in the entire world would ever even consider. You know, I'm just excited to be in his corner. We compete, he's coming. We compete, you've been here a thousand times. I, uh, I feel bliss right now knowing that he's in shape and now it's time to just go out there and uh, show him what the upper level is about. Kamal's a unique breed. One of the things that separates him from other athletes that I've seen that he's entering into a fight week with celebration. <laughs> this kind of attitude, this kind of energy brings completely different results. And it projects on all of us. We're all happy, we're all, we're all enjoying this, and we just cannot wait for Saturday. <laughs> it doesn't really matter who they put in front of him. It's just another task to complete before the greatness. Anybody who fights Hamza is going to have a difficulty due to Hamza's unorthodox style of fighting, unorthodox mentality and the character he brings into the fighting. And as a coach, I have to expect to have the most dangerous beast in front of Hamza. And my goal is to give Hamza enough strategy, enough tools to go and hunt this scariest beast on the planet and come home with a victory. 15 seconds. Time. Good one. He's out. Very good, mate. Very good. Put the gold on there too. Yeah, yeah see, they know. I'm gonna try your gloves on. We want them nice and tight, you know. Compact. Yeah. Nice and compact. Well, you wear it large. Mate, I'm liking these bags, eh? Man, that's yeah. my travel bag right there. Oh yeah. All done. Thank you. shift our attention to the co-main event going down Saturday night, UFC 294, Kamara Usman, the newest addition to the 185-pound weight class. Kamara, let me start with you. Are you prepared to compete this Saturday? Absolutely. I think it's the one thing that I've always done. And, and I think it's the one thing that any great fighter or great champion does, and that's you're always prepared. At the end of the day, just like the saying goes, fighters fight as I'm sure he's excited for the matchup. So am I. Tribe, you've weaponized pace. Are you going to have an advantage in the conditioning? Are you going to have an advantage in the wrestling over a former national champion in Kamar Usman? I don't know what to say. Just come here to smash the guy, man. So respect for the guy takes the fight short notes, everything. I... So I don't care about he being the champ, pound for pound, and or all the we have to go to the cage and fight, you know. Fighters fight, as Kamara said. You guys are going to fight this Saturday at 294, and rightfully so, the winner will challenge for the world championship. Good luck to both of you. To look at him and have him look at me, and you look at each other, you try to look through each other's soul, you try to assess one another, and, and you go on and you carry that energy into the next day. So I'm looking forward to that, and I can't wait.